are just days away from high temperatures that may not even hit double digits. With that in mind, groups across Tulsa are making preparations to get as many people as possible into the warmth. Today's Oklahoma's Brody Myers joins us live with what local groups are doing to help. Brody. Karen, it's about 30 degrees outside right now and it is downright cold. But if Monday's single digit forecast holds up, this is just the beginning, putting many Tulsans at risk. We call it killer cold, so it's all hands on deck. The John 316 mission is just one of the organizations that opens its doors for Tulsans to warm up. It's been open since the 50s. CEO Stephen Whitaker took the reins of the organization from his dad back in the summer. He's seen the homeless situation in town deteriorate. More difficult than I've seen it um, in Tulsa, and, and, and times are tough. People are struggling for various reasons, and so we're, we're doing our best to be part of the solution. But even with all that experience, he and his team are keeping their guard up. Well, you can never know for sure what to expect. Always some system fails or something, or some water line blows up when it's zero degrees, but we're doing our best to make sure we have the supplies. We have amazing people at John 316 Mission. People experiencing homelessness are at risk, no doubt. But there's another population hurting too. Tulsans living with developmental disabilities, like Judy Knott. It's warm and new, cozy. She's living independently at a new leaf in Owasso, better than her previous living arrangement. Not really safe. People like Knott may have part-time jobs, but no driver's license, forcing them to walk or bike to work. One place they can stop? The Tulsa Day Center. Anyone can walk through our doors. There's no time limit for when they walk in. You can stay 15 minutes, just get a drink of water, get some Tylenol, get a cough drop. Um, there, there's no time limit. You can be here all day long or you can be here for 15 minutes. Monica Martin tells me people are coming in for things like laundry services, new clothes, a drink of water, or, in a lot of cases lately, a visit to the clinic. Which those numbers have doubled from what we normally see each day. They're strained but confident. And so we are, we've been doing this 38 years. We know what to expect. We know what to have on hand. We're ready for them. And both of those organizations could use some help themselves. John 316 says the need for water bottles is high in these times. People could donate money on their website or drop off a case of water at any of the John 316 locations. As for the day center, clothes, underwear, shoes for men are in high demand. When I was there this afternoon, they only had four pairs of men's jeans, and they said 300 to 350 people are coming every day. And that's just now when it's 30 degrees. It's going to get much colder on Monday. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.